Welcome back. Now we'll be discussing role of cardiopulmonary bypass since we established the architecture of this circuit. Let's now understand what we'll be doing with it. First, and uh, uh, the initial role of cardiopulmonary bypass was to empty the heart. That's why bypass was originally um, uh, developed. It's because we need a bloodless field. Hence, emptying the heart is one of the first roles of cardiopulmonary bypass. Um, also, as we described, as we explained in the previous chapter, it's an element of myocardial protection. Decompression, decompressing the heart uh, reduces the energy expenditure and hence protect the heart during the period of ischemia. Second is oxygenating the blood. Hence, we are able to uh, uh, substitute the function of the lungs, switch off the lungs, prevent the motion. Hence, achieving a still field. These are the first and two primary. Uh, uh, roles of bypass and that's initially why bypass originally uh, started. Next is adjusting the chemical and electrolyte composition. Various uh, electrolyte and chemical changes uh, are elicited as soon as we go on bypass. We'll be discussing this in details in the pathophysiology. You can see it, uh, you can see it um, uh, um, a little bit down in the table of contents. Um, one of, for instance, just for example, one of the effects of uh, bypass, for instance, is um, when you cool the blood, you increase the pH, alkalosis happens. Also, um, uh, periods of ischemia will um, cause acidosis. So cooling increases pH, um, uh, reduced perfusion increase, uh, decreases pH. Those are some of the changes. This uh, also the systemic changes in potassium, sodium, various changes happen on bypass. We need means of sampling and adjusting that. Next is adjusting the temperature. Uh, as we described in the previous chapter, uh, hypothermia is one of the elements of myocardial protection. We need means to be able to cool down and subsequently rewarm the blood again. Uh, also, um, returning the loss and saving the blood loss during the surgery, whether from the field or from the inside of the heart, um, to maintain the decompression, as you will, as we will discuss in the next uh, 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 section, um, there is a means of non-coronary um, non collateral flow, which will lead to distension of the heart while we are on bypass. We need means to evacuate the heart from there, and also means to protect the lost blood in the field. Last but not least, delivering cardioplegia, and uh, this is of course um, the cornerstone of myocardial protection. All of this is achieved under a, um, a group of safety nets, safety adjuncts, which protect uh, the circulation from inadvertent mistakes, errors, uh, emboli, whether air emboli um, or particulate emboli. Um, very important uh, point to note here is the, um, the highest incidence of air embolism occurs in the few very first few seconds of going on bypass. Why is that? The priming solution is naturally at a lower temperature than the systemic circulation. As soon as the priming solution mixes with the systemic circulation, um, an immediate effect of warming happens to this uh, solution, which may extract bubbles and air out of that. Um, um, that's why um, various safety adjuncts are there such as the bubble detectors, the level detector, um, uh, pressure and uh, flow uh, meters, which um, have the uh, have the uh, property or have the ability to switch off the circuit if anything goes wrong. We need to bear in mind that the architecture of the circuit is also uh, um, made in such a manner to prevent these events. For instance, as we discussed earlier, uh, the presence of the heat exchanger upstream, the uh, oxygenator uh, protects from um, creating bubbles and oxygen. That's in the case of uh, warming. However, in cooling, it's the opposite. Cooling occurs after the oxygenator. And why is that? Uh, because uh, cooling increases the solubility of uh, uh, gases in, in solution and hence reduces the possibility of creating bubbles. And there is always the bubble detector on side arm after the oxygenator, which protects um, uh, from any inadvertent uh, air emboli. This is just uh, an example of the safety adjuncts present in the uh, bypass circuit. 
this is an MCQ, I'll leave you with that to test your knowledge and next we will be going into circuit components of bypass. Thank you.